Day 12, alone inspired diet, Super Bowl party day. Let's roll. Hard work pays off. As the Super Bowl draws near, I realize I'm more and more unprepared for what I'm headed into. So, let's see how it goes. I need to get some supplies. I need to get some alone inspired diet supplies. I'm gonna make some guacamole, no salt, no nothing. Just avocados, maybe some lime. Winner winners. A bag full of paradise. One of my friends, Jen, said, dude, you need some bell peppers in your life. You need some bell peppers in your eggs. So let's see if she's right. Four loaded up, ready to rock. That's a whole lot of heat. This is silly. Why not just eat some ginger? This is what's whack about our society. Fake, fake, fake all the time. Super Bowl alone inspired meatballs. Keep it simple, son. Mm -mm. Oh, Ooh, it's gonna be really... It's alone, we can't do that. In they go. You're a bright, shining star. You can do this. You're all alone. It's just food. You got this. It's four hours for the rest of your life. Time to do our alone guacamole special. Avocados. Split them again. Boom. Do you know why the avocado is called an avocado? Do you? Do you? I didn't, so I looked it up. If you were looking at this avocado, what does it kind of look like? Yep. Avocado means testicle. Look it up. We're gonna peel the skins off, just like they do on a loan. And while I can make avocados naked, I can also make them disappear. Told ya. I don't believe in tools. I believe God gave us all the tools we need to make avocado juice, to make avocados go away. Oh. Add your habaneros. Now time for the onion. All right, now we just squeeze. We make a little pu a little puddle here, a little 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 pond in our guacamole, and we squeeze, nice and uniform. Too much, you ruin the guacamole. Not enough, and you don't have guacamole. As I squish it all together. This is why you're here. Go, go somewhere else if you want to see something you already know how to do. This is how you survive a Super Bowl party right here. You bring your own food. That's it. Four hours for the rest of my life. I got this. Wow. All right. So now we're going to cut ourselves a chip. We're going to sample it. These are my chips today. Right here. Beautiful. That knife work, I'm telling you, it's on next level. You ready? Let's test this guacamole out. Let me tell you about this guacamole. This guacamole is just good enough. Here's the goal. Bell pepper, guacamole, meatball. And that's how you survive a Super Bowl party. My alone inspired diet Super Bowl survival kit is ready. Got the bell peppers, the meatballs with no salt, no seasoning, no oil, just habaneros and onions and meat. They held together just fine. So that whole Bisquick joke, that's a joke. And my guacamole. Let's go. Let's have a successful day.
Super Bowl time, Super Bowl time. Not eating that, not eating that. I'm gonna eat those, not eating that. I'm gonna eat those. And then there's nothing else for me to eat. Ooh, bananas. Beautiful. Get behind me, Satan. There's nothing alone about that. There you go. Middle of the fire. At the Super Bowl party, doing good. Only ate my meatballs, no salt in the oil. Lots of brownies, all that stuff, but nope. Mm -mm. This is too important to me. Day 12, dinner time. Pretty much what I had for lunch. I ate a lot of these meatballs today. Today was all about surviving. Today was all about making it through this day without making a mistake because I have mistakes all around me and I cannot afford to make mistakes. I wanna be around for my family. I wanna be here for a long time and making it through that Super Bowl party tells me that I'm gonna be here for a long time. Sorry to everybody, 49ers lost. Black coffee lied, I, I'm blown away. We'll talk about that more tomorrow, but something so pure, you know? Could lie like that. But anyways, we have some meatballs here. They are what we made earlier in the video. Very simple, three ingredients. Look at that. You don't need nothing to bind them together. Don't listen to anybody. You can't make meatballs without having a binding agent. That's, that's, that's not true. Keep it simple, son. K-I-S-S. Got my guacamole here. It also is very simple. There's nothing in there but avocados, onions, and habaneros. Life doesn't have to be complicated, I'm finding out. And being fat is a choice. For sure, but look at that. That's good eating right there. Mm. Great suggestion, Jen, on the bell peppers. Um, they've really helped a lot. I know they're not in my eggs, but for this meal, they've really helped it turn the corner. I ended up finding some grapes while I was there and I just really enjoyed those. So even if the scale says I didn't lose weight, I know I'm not gonna gain weight and I know I'm gonna be right back on track a day later. That's the difference between eating this crap that the sad American diet gives us, the standard American diet. It's all created to take money out of our pockets, to make us sick, and to make us dependent on the government and the healthcare system, period. This is life. This diet, the alone inspired diet, the AID diet could easily be called the hand of God diet because we're eating things that are just from the hand of God, the hog diet. <laughs> Great job today, living your best life. Great job today, not letting excuses mess up your goals. And great job today, putting yourself first. Day 12 is over, day 13, let's roll.